Hi, how are you doing? It's Jeff Sinker from scatguitarlessonsonline.com bringing you a classic song by Whitesnake. Is This Love from the self-titled album Whitesnake, even though most people called it the 1987 album. Great song, great video. 30 years ago, with the release that I know they've got an anniversary package scheduled to come out the latter end of this year, so I'm really looking forward to seeing that. We are covering all of the sections, the clean guitar, the rhythm guitar, and both leads. If you do enjoy the video and you find it useful, don't forget, click on that subscribe button. Subscribe that way you'll always be notified when I am posting new videos, which is normally, I can do them about once, twice a week. So, well worth subscribing. I'm sure you'll enjoy the uh, different songs that we cover over this channel. If you've got any requests for any songs, I know some of my uh, subscribers have already done that. Just drop me a line. Always great to hear from you. But enough of me talking. Let's get into the song. I'm going to play through the sections and then I'll break them down note by note. At the end of the video, I've got the full playthrough where I play all the parts together. So you want to just you know, go straight to it if you want. Click on that link below, it takes you to it. But stay for the lesson. I'm sure you'll find it very useful. Anyway, I'm going to shut up now and we're going to get into the lesson. So you know the drill. Don't go away. Preview. So the clean guitar section through the verses starts off with an open A string with a hammer on to second fret, followed by an open E. Then we have got three harmonics that we're going to play, which is on seventh fret, starting with B7 to G7 to D7. Then we put our first finger on second fret and our little finger on 4th fret and we're going to play A string 2, D string 4 and open G string. Then we bring our first finger forward to 3rd fret on the A string, we keep that little finger there on the 4th fret on the D and we put our 2nd finger on 3rd fret of the B and we're going to play A string, D string which is 4th fret and we play 3 on the B, open G string and then 4th fret back on the D. So the intro section and the main part of this clean guitar would sound like this. Then we finish off with that open E and then we go back to the harmonics. And we play that through four times. The end of the fourth repeat of that, we then are going to move down a series of chords and we start the chord off which is an E minor, but we're only playing the D, the G and the B string. We just play them three strings. Then we're going to play a D, but again just focusing on the, the three strings, D, G and B. Then we play a C, which is on 5th fret. Then we play a G, which is going to be D5, G4 and B3. Then we put 3rd finger on 3rd fret of the G, no, sorry, of the A, and little finger on 3rd fret of the D, and we play through the whole of the strings from the A string down. And then the open strings really ring out. Then we pick up first fret on the B. Again, 
stage, still letting them other strings ring out, and then we're going to play second fret on the A. So we get this. So there's a full run down from that E minor. And then we go back to that main verse, playing that chord arpeggio. Now that is played continually through the verse section. He runs it through three times. So we've got the first part, which is the intro, plays that, plays that section through four times, then goes back, plays it again, completely through. So there's three times on that. When he comes to the end of that last section, we then go into the chorus section. Now, let me talk you through the chorus section. For the clean guitar, it's very, very simple. All we're going to be playing is across D4, open G, and B3. So we play this two, three, four, one. He plays that three times, then he goes back to this E minor, D. C, finish it up on that G, so we get this. Then repeat. Final part. And then back in takes us to the first lead guitar solo. I'll be covering the solos at the end. So well, that takes us really all of the sections that we would play for the clean guitar. Through the first solo, he goes back and just plays the verse. Plays that through. And then he goes into another chorus, and a chorus again for the clean guitar is this. Through the second solo, he extends the verse longer. So he's playing twice the amount of the verse. We don't keep putting that after the four times, play eight times, then into that progression down. Now, certain times after the first, uh, the first chorus line, what he does when he comes down this line, he plays that twice. Doesn't do it the first time, but all the repeats after that, we get this. Once he's finished the second guitar, he goes back into a chorus line, and then we get the theme at the end, where he's just singing, is this love, is this love? All we do on the clean guitar, we just keep playing through that chorus section. So we're just gonna play this. And he keeps on repeating that, to the fade at the end of the song. So there we've got all of the sections covered for the clean guitar. Okay, let's have a look at the ribbon guitar section, which is with the overdrive guitar. I'll quickly play it through and then I'll break it down. Okay, so we start off with a C5 power chord, so we're up here on A fret, playing 8 on E and 10 on the A, and we play that once, then we've got two downstrokes muted, play another C5 again, then we've got four 
muted down strokes. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to go across to a D5 chord, but we're only playing the D string, the G string, the E string, B string, bro, on the seventh fret. So we play that once. Then our second thing is going to play this C note in the bass. So we're going to hit that twice muted. Then we go back and play that D5 chord, the D chord again. Then we've got three on the eight. One, two, three. Then we move down to seven fret on the low E. Play that once. Then we've got another one of these D5s. Then we've got two more muted on the seven on the E string. Another power chord through there on that D. Then we've got another four down strokes. One, two, three, four. Then we've got this riff, which goes 15 on the high E. 14, 12, to 15 on the B, and back and we repeat the whole section. So we do the C5, and this time we start off the same way, but we've got this 15, 12, and we do that 15 again. Then we do a 15 again on B. Back to 12 on the high E. And finish up on 13 on the B. And then it goes back into a verse. Now that's what we play through the choruses uh, before each solo. Once we've done the second solo, then we go into that continual phase. So we're just going to be playing that rhythm guitar section out to the close, but we don't play that second turnaround lead line, we just play the same one. So we've just got the C going across to the B and then we keep repeating this. Then back into. And that goes to the fade. So that is the rhythm guitar through the chorus section. Let's now go and look at the solos. Before we start on the first guitar solo, I just want to have a quick talk about the sound and the settings um, for the solos. Um, the solos really have got very, very high gain on this because we've got to really sustain the notes for as long as possible. So I've got my gain turned up to 10. You know, if I could turn it to 11, I would. It just really has to pull this note out. So of course when you play this, you've got to watch all the other notes in the background ringing through. So I'm going to play this through first of all, and then I'm going to break it down note by note. Right, if you noticed, I was just uh, kind of pitching it slightly out of tone, uh, tune with the whammy bar, which is what he does on this. It really gives it a nice effect. It's not a full dive, it's just slight, because you're going to start off the solo on 14th fret on the high E, doing a half tone bend. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of pressure on the whammy bar just to reduce the pitch slightly so we get this sound. And then I lower it back down to the 14th fret so it's from there we've got from there we've got 14 where we are we go 14 to 15 on the high E to 12 and again, a little touch on that whammy bar, back to 14, to 15 on the B, to 12 on the B, and then he's got a slide down, then we have a slide down to 7th fret. Let me just hold that. Fade. Now let's look at the main guitar solo. Um, beautiful solo in this, really is. And uh, one of the, the biggest issues on this is again getting the sustain on this. Now, I am um, obviously 
as I'm talking through, it will be very hard to get this to stay, but we're going to break it down section by section. So let's have a look at section number one. I'll play it through, then I'll break it down for you. So we start off with a pull off from 14 on the D to 12 on the D. Then we cross over to 14 on the G and we got two full tone bands and hold it at the top of the last one. Now that's where your sustain is coming in. Now I've turned the gain down there and also I've just kind of included the uh, noise gate just as well I'm talking, but you really got to hold that in mind. And you release the bend back to 14 on the G, to 12 on the G, to 11 on the G. And then you've got a series of half tone bends, you've got eight of them. And from there you've got this really nice arpeggio. Starts off on 12 fret on the E string, to 10 on the A. Hammer on, 14 on the A, 12 on the D, 11 on the G, 12 on the G, sliding up to 14. We go across to the B string and we got a full tone bend on 17. Release back down and play 14 on the G. Onto the B string 15. Now we've got a full tone bend on 15. Release and then we do another full tone bend on 15, pulling off to 12. Then we've got 14 on high E. Play that twice. To 12 on the E. 15 on the B. Then we've got a 14 pull off to 12, hammer back on on 14 on the G. And we cross over to the D string and we play D14. Back to G12 twice, finishing on 14 on the D. And we play that through very slowly for you from the arpeggio. Next section. Okay, so we do a we got we got a, a slide into twelve on the B, and what we're doing there from the twelve on the B, we playing twelve on the E, fourteen on the E, fifteen on the. E. Then we do a full tone bend. And what he's doing on that full tone bend on the 15, he bends it up and he releases it. Then we've got this 15, 14, 15. Then we go back to that original phrase, but this one he's played over a triplet feel. Then we go into 17 on the high E with a full tone bend. We do another full tone bend with a release. From there we're doing this 17, 15, 17. That's the end of section two. Now we've got the busy section, section number three. So I'm just going to play it through and then we'll break it down.
Let's break this down. We've got 19 on the G twice, crossing over to 20 on the high E with a full tone bend. Then we go to 19. Then we've got a half tone bend on 19. Release, 20 on the B. And we've got a full tone on 17, sorry, 19 on the G, crossing to 17 on the B. Then we've got 19 on B with a then a half tone, a full tone bend. We go back to 19 on the G, crossing over to 15 to 17 on the B. So so far we've got this. From there, we've got another arpeggio, but he actually starts it off with an open E string. And we've got 19 on the G, 17B, 17E, to 20 on the high E, down to 19. Then we have 19, sorry, then we have 17 to 20 on the B. Then we've got two whole tone bends then. And then we start the final run. And the run that we're playing is 17 on B to 19 on G, back to the 17 on the B, now we've got a scale run down. We're doing 19, 17, 16 on the G to 19, 17, 16 on the D string. Back to 17, to 19, and finishing up on 16 on the G. So the run is... So now we've covered all of the sections for this great song, Is This Love? Now I have included a full playthrough that follows the video right at the end. So stay tuned for that. So uh, have a listen. Uh, hope you enjoy it. But that's it for this lesson. Uh, the tablature, you can download that by clicking on the link below. Take you to my website. You get a free download on the tablature. If you did enjoy this lesson, I hope you did, and you found it useful, click on the subscribe button. Uh, that way you'll be posted whenever I put any more of these wonderful videos together for you. But until the next time, this is Jeff Sinker from SkypeGuitarLessonsOnline.com. Thanks for your company. Look forward to seeing you all again soon. Until then, goodbye.